Welcome to FM Corner. I'm Danny Kinch, Director of Relationship Management for WCE. We're back in the home office today to uh, do our podcast, so thank you very much for listening. Today, I want to talk about overcoming your weakness at work. We, we all are very comfortable in what are our strengths and things that we do really well at work. What we struggle with sometimes are what are our weaknesses and, and how do we do something about that? Everyone has them. There are things you do much better than other things which you don't do so well. And let's talk about today how you work toward overcoming whatever your weakness may be at work. First and foremost, you have to recognize and accept the fact that it is a weakness. You know, it can't be someone telling you and say, okay, I believe this is a weakness and, and you don't see it that way. It's very difficult for you to learn how to adapt and how to do something. But understanding typically when somebody's speaking to you about that, it's, it's a weakness or it's perceived that way. And there are things that you can do to make it better. So first and foremost is always take the time, accept it, and then agree that you want to work towards it to make it better. That's the whole part. You also have to understand that a weakness is not going to become a strength overnight. It's not. What you're going to try to do is over time you want to move that needle so that you get better at it and you're aware of it. That's what you're looking to do. First and foremost, set a plan, personal development. How are you going to do that? Am I going to take a course? You know, maybe it's writing skills, something like that. Do I need to take a course? Do I need to listen? Do I need to read a book? Uh, do I need to go talk to some people that are mentors in my career to kind of bounce some ideas off them, people that I trust? How, how am I going to go about that to set up a plan that is going to help me move that needle? The next piece that you want to do is, okay, I've set up a plan, put dates and times to it. If you don't, you're going to end up saying, okay, I'll work on this next week. And then next week comes and goes and you don't do anything about it. Set your dates and times. I'm going to have this conversation with this person by Friday and put the date on it and then do it. And that's a checklist that you can follow along with what you're doing with the individual or a book, whatever it may be but put dates and times to it so it can help hold you accountable. Because again, this is not the easiest thing in the world is to acknowledge and work on what your weakness is. So make sure you set boundaries to it and things that you can do to keep you on task. Next, have a support network. Support network being friends, people that know you, and people that aren't afraid to tell you things that might be uncomfortable. Yeah, they're right. They're telling you it's a weakness, and I agree. And here's some instances why. So that they'll tell you and they'll keep you in a reality check of what's really going on. Otherwise, it's like, hey, I'm doing great. Maybe you're not. But those people that you trust and you value their opinions that you can talk to, bounce ideas off with, and who will be real with you and let you know what is going on. You gotta challenge yourself to push past the discomfort. It's hard, but you have to challenge yourself because you're looking to make improvements. You wanna make improvements. You have to recognize that change is a long-term commitment. You're not gonna go, okay, I'm over here and I'm a weakness and I'm gonna do this for four weeks and it's gonna become a strength. It's not, it's not. What you're trying to do is work toward the middle. So one, it is better. Two, people can see that you're working at it and you're trying and you're attempting to get better. And then third, you're gonna to continue to try to work on it and you wanna move the needle a little bit at a time. But it's probably never gonna become an ultimate strength. The other important part is to be aware of it because it's gonna help you. It's gonna help drive what you say, what you do, how you go about things but because in your head you're going, this is something I haven't been great at and I'm working hard to be better. Let me think about what I'm gonna say. Let me think about 
what I'm gonna do before I go do it. So the awareness factor is there. That's important too, because you recognize it. We all have weaknesses. We all have things we would like to do better. It's hard and it's difficult, but recognize it, make a plan, put dates and times to it, have friends, people that you can trust, and then go to work on it and do everything you can to try to make it better and do checks with people. Is it better over the last six months, not two weeks, over the last six months, has it felt better to you? Can you tell a difference? And then that way you're hearing that and that helps continue to drive. We all have them. Figure out what they are and go to work on them to make them better. That's our episode today. Thank you very much for listening to FM Corner. We'll see you next week.